when you type in how are planets formed in the Google search engine, what you'll see is the planets in our solar system are believed to have formed from the same spinning disk of dust that formed the sun. Notice how they say it is believed. It's a belief. They've never been able to show that to be true. On the other hand, we have stars. What they actually do is they're born really hot and bright, and they cool and shrink over their lifetimes, combining the elements into molecules, forming what are called planets. Thus, depending on what the star looks like, will determine what its stage is during its evolution. The really hot, bright, plasmatic ones are young, the gas ones are middle-aged, the liquid ones are older, and the solid ones are dead stars that are wandering the universe. This isn't difficult to understand. They just simply separated stars from planets in their minds. They cut them off, and then they made a big disk to connect them, but the disk was never needed. The star is the new planet, and the planet is an ancient star. Here's a pretty cool artist illustration. Gas giants cool and shrink, and then they leave their oceans, which then evaporate into inter interstellar space. There you go. Here's, here's something really cool that you can visualize with it, but since I don't have $50,000 to make a good uh, video of this process, I'm forced to try to find things on the internet that show uh, or to illustrate what actually happens to stars. The bigger and harder you get, the younger it is. The cooler, the smaller, and more rocky it is, the older it is. And what you also notice here is that uh, they didn't show the magnetic fields either. The magnetic fields of these are really big, and as it cools and dies, the magnetic field shrinks. Eventually, dissipates and disappears altogether.